Hello, I'm Dave Grover. I'm the founder of this garden with the help of uh, several associates and it's an outgrowth of experience of life. It's all about plumeria, which is a symbol of eternal life. It's because it goes into dormancy in the winter time. So many fragrances from coconut to cinnamon to lemon and peaches and roses. It, overwhelming the different fragrances you can get in Plumeria. We enjoy breeding them here. Uh, my name is Mike Soroyce. Um, I've been pollinating Plumeria anywhere between seven and eight years. Upon successful pollination, you will start to see the flower base start to swell, and eight months later, you will have a fully matured seed pod, which will then crack open, allowing the seeds to dry out. My name is Sandra Ball, but I go by the name of Sandy, and I am the curator of the garden here at Sun Harbor Nursery, the Plumeria Garden. Uh, my primary responsibilities in this position are to make sure the plants are healthy, that they are uh, treated well, to make sure that everything is at its prime, uh, help with the breeding program that we do here. I also am responsible for um, a little bit of PR work in trying to promote the garden. It's uh, become an entity of its own. So we're trying to carry on what Bill Morang started in Kauai in 1959. He's the first person to cross pollinate them. It took four years to cross pollinate. And he finally got a batch from seeds that he got 42 cultivars that were significant new cultivars. This is Daisy Wilcox. Daisy Wilcox is the mother of all the meringue seedlings. As you can see, it is a giant flower measuring four to five inches in diameter and sets seeds very easily. I just wanted to show you a few of the more common cultivars that you can buy. This is Aztec Gold. Everybody loves Aztec Gold. Of all the hundreds of plumeria, thousand plumeria we have back here, we still rank this one in the top five has a wonderful fragrance, long blooming time, easy, easy to do. When I was in Kauai and I walked out of a grocery store and I inhaled and it was the most beautiful fragrance and I looked around and the whole block smelled like paradise and, and then I saw this big white Singapore plumeria. Mmm, as you can tell this is probably another one in the top five if that's possible. This is Singapore, this is the one Dave talks about smelling when he was in Hawaii. Anyone that's ever been to Hawaii, you can see big trees of Singapore blooming. Nice glossy green leaf on this one. If you have milder climates, this one actually will not shed its leaves. It'll keep its leaves on. Beautiful bloomer, just bouquets, a lot of heads on this one. This is Duke. Duke is one of my favorite flowers, as well as Daisy Wilcox. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cross Duke on Daisy Wilcox to create Daisy Duke. A little more back history, plumeria were discovered in the West Indies, they're not a Polynesian flower, by the bot, French botanist uh, uh, Charles Plumier in a voyage with the French fleet. He was studying uh, botany all over the world, especially flowering things, and he really became enamored with plumeria. And uh, through all the explorations of the Spanish and the, and, uh, the plumeria are so resilient that the, the branches cut off were spread all over the world. 